I was in a great deal of denial. I kept telling myself, I, I'm not mentally ill. I played football. I was a wrestling champion. This can't be happening to me. I'm a good person. Seventy five miles per hour, twenty five stories high, four seconds of free fall. And on the 24th of September 2000, I was tired. I was so tired. Couldn't do it anymore. Couldn't fight it. You have 0.02% of survival with what I did. You know, sadly, I went online and searched for ways to die by suicide. I found what they call an option. It said you die on impact. I had my first experience of my brain disease, bipolar disorder, extreme paranoia. I started having these delusions that people were trying to hurt me, trying to kill me, um, following me. Since the opening of the Golden Gate Bridge, thousands of people have jumped to their death. Kevin is a part of the 1% who have lived. So I attempted in a way that is, you know, 99% fatal. And I lived. Kevin's thoughts the day of his jump taught him that he does not have to walk through life alone. The first step is to make the call. I use an emergency plan with seven of my personal protectors that are all connected. So that when I call those seven people and I get to the seventh and no one's answered, I call 1-800-273-TALK and I ask to be saved. I survived not only that jump from the bridge, but I survived my disease. I'm no longer ashamed of this brain disease. All of us with a mental illness must be heard. Let us challenge each other to educate the masses and fight for the end of mental health inequality and the end of this circle of discrimination. I share my story today while I hold my head up high. 